Hello, it is October and we are back in the zoo. It's been quite a while for us, so we're gonna go and see what's changed. So this is actually the first time we've been to the zoo on a weekday, not during holidays, in probably a long, long time, like a year or something at least. You can see Ongbo. And as a result, the zoo is super quiet. So this is Chester Zoo's resident bull elephant, Ongbo. Where did he come from? Hello, Spain. Spain. He's a handsome fella, isn't he? He's got awesome tusks. He's looking at us. It's Hazina. Yep, a new map for Gemma for her collection. I hope the other map is still in the bag. Yep. Oh, yeah, look, there it is. Who's on that one? Really helpful uh, guest services person today. I you and lots of things. Yeah, another, you collect them all, don't you? Yeah. Um, yep. So, first thing that's changed is the penguins are currently offshore because they're really modernising the penguins out in enclosure. Finally! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Where are we going today, honey? Um, we're going to see the new animals out on show. Sure. Okay. Gemma wants to see a new animal, which is. A padamelon. A padamelon. Which sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> and they are in the old anteater enclosure. Oh, okay then, we'll go up that way then. The youngsters are about. Get a move. That one has just disappeared over the back the minute I started with the camera. Still got some down here. Yeah. There she is. Looks like some more. Photogra video photography for the new series of Secret Life at the Zoo is going on today. Assumably. Assume? Yeah. Assumably. Yeah. Is that a word? Assumably. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably. <laughs> I like that. I like making words up. My favourite made up word is terrid. It's a mixture of terrible and horrid. <laughs> Lonely deck chairs. Oh no, the ice station's <laughs> closed. I'm gonna go and check out dragons in Dan Danga. Dragons in Danga. Let's see what we've got. Yantan. There's something new behind us as well. Spiny tail iguana and Plowshare tortoise. There's a plowshare tortoise. They're critically endangered. Looks like a football. Because of the illegal pet trees. Yeah. You can see the lizard. There's another tortoise. You can see a spider. There's a lizard. Up on the back wall. Oh yeah. One's a rat tarantula. So they've turned this into more of an educational thing, although there is a tarantula there. Oh. Tarantula watch. Monster rat tarantula. Mm. They're cool. They're also really good at drawing. <laughs> themselves, which is really odd because they don't have no. I think it's been abandoned because the tarantulas have eaten the researcher. Yeah, that's yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah. So we can't see the mouse deer too well. But the Argus pheasant's here and looks fantastic. And a crown pigeon has been a harassing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that way we'd normally go past the tiger enclosure in Europe on the edge of every, but it's all closed, yeah? yeah? As Gemma just said. So we can't get that way today. We have a lion. Yes. <laughs> Kamari? Kamari. He's looking right this way. Is there a keeper behind me? Oh no, there is. There's one over to the, to the right. It's Bert the Poodoo. And now we're heading to a new species. All being well. It's what Gemma's wanted to come for, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There we go. So tell me about this animal, Gemma. 
also known as a dusky wallaby. And this one is the only ones in the UK. Cool. Yes, we've got a pair. And what species is it? Padamella. I've forgotten. Padamella. Oh yeah, Padamella, the Pokemon. But a dusky wallaby, also known as. So, from Australasia. And it's hiding behind sticks. Ridiculously rare. Very pretty, isn't yeah. it? The house is looking very nice today. Looks like they may have had weddings on at the weekend. That's the number one place where it's all in the last year I'd have to live. You'd have to live there. Yeah. Do you think they'd let you? I guess they were big enough to make sure, probably. <laughs> Maybe for a week. Wow, lots of construction going on. So we would normally have been able to go down there over towards the otters. Apparently you can get to them from the other side means that the tiger enclosure is closed, the aviary is closed, the penguins are closed, and the otter enclosure is here, so we can see lots of you in outdoors, but, uh, indoors but not out, and all this area has been redeveloped. Tells you what, getting built into this. Yeah, improve our penguin habitat to provide new viewing windows, yes, finally. Filtration system so you can enjoy watching our Humboldt's racing through water. Build phase two of Madagascar forest with a walkthrough experience. So Chester Zoo is finally getting a walk through Madagascar experience. And there he is, the most handsome lion in any zoo ever, anywhere, <laughs> arguably. This is Ziblis, looking radiant. In his little pasture sun. Yep. So Gemma's good suggestion today is that while it's quiet, we go and head over to Islands and check out Islands, the new part. Monorail switch track where they go where the monorails go to bed at night. This is actually a bridle way down here, so you can technically walk through the middle of the zoo without pain. Obviously you don't see any animals because of all the fences up. That Philippine spotted deer. It's snack time for them too. So while it's a quiet day, we're going to go into Fruitback Forest, which I don't think we've ever recorded in, because we've never really had a camera that would even show up the briefest hint of light in here. So let's see how we do. So this is how dark it is in here, and typically we stand here for a little bit and let our eyes get accustomed, which certainly helps. Tips for coming in here, don't look up with your mouth open. <laughs> this is the best part, you can walk through the tunnel and there's actually one hanging from the fish tank here. And that's the tunnel we just walked through. I did not feel one bat even touch me as we walked through there. You can see them. Oh yeah. They're really active today though, they're not normally this active. Right over the back where I can't really film them. Oh yeah, so you definitely will put all the way around. Well that was a complete waste of time, Gem. The bongo, I think, yeah. <laughs> Shouting at you, Anna. You are a poor sick girl. Oh, tiny violins. <laughs> Gem has led us on a wild bongo chase. There are no bongo. There are no... There nothing. Zebra. There's not even keepers. There's a very far away zebra. There's such a tundra. So on our last video we visited and we didn't see much in the way of tiger. So will we see any tiger today? There's no. Only, no. <laughs> no there's only one I know, I'm just being silly. Well, <laughs> there's a tiger. 
Very well hidden though. Look, can you see there? Look, look. Oh, he's got tapies indoors. We've curled up together. Who's this gem? Marjorie at the back and Solo at the front. Very nice. Small the monkeys, aren't they? Yeah. The boat out there. Yeah, back with the German green magpies. With the challenging fence. And challenging birds. Mm. <laughs> green birds in green leaves. You can hear them. Had a couple of laughing thrushes down here as well. Hang on. I love these guys. That's how I feel in the moment. Let's go outside and have a look, see what we've got out there. Hello! You can't even get us because we're in here. Yeah. You got both some bass. We can't get him. We can't get Gem's got the lord and this is Millie, the female, and Tony, Tony is outside. They actually seem to alternate on this indoor bit because there's a, an entrance way just over there. Sometimes they don't get on the back seat, it depends on the season. Yeah, but they can open this side up to let that one come in here so and then this one goes outside and vice versa. What else is living in here then? Well, up there there's the a run for what we thought was the binturong, didn't we, at one point? Mm -hmm. There's no binturong here at the minute, but they are nocturnal, so maybe they're in the beds. I liked that uh, Millie the sunbird treated all those people who were knocking on the glass to try and wake her up with utter contempt, lifted her head up, put it back down and went back straight back to sleep. Say, the kid who was hitting the window got told off by his mum. Yeah, and then his dad said, oh no, don't stop him. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah. And then it was an adult hitting the glass of the coke bottle. Yeah. Shine away cool. If you do that in zoos, just don't. Hello, fruit dove. Superb fruit dove. No, I wouldn't say it was superb, it's alright. <laughs> Grooming session for macaques. A long time ago, we were promised rain in the monsoon forest, and it looks like there's a little bit of rain in the monsoon forest. Not really a monsoon, though, is it? No, not really. Both the garrels seem to quite enjoy it though, don't they? Yeah. There is an orangutan though. And a youngster as well. Mm. That's service, isn't it? Yeah. Hard to see from here, but they know where I've got a calf. Oh, there it goes, just through the trees. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Didn't know about that one. No. Nope. We got the baby bear. I don't think we, I don't, have we ever vlogged the baby bear before? I don't know. I don't think we have, have we? But there we go, there's the baby bear. What a cutie. Got the full spectacles as well. Yeah, you might be a Franca. Oh. <laughs> She's rolling on her back with food. And what I can see as well is if I just slowly move the apology for the shakiness down here. There's an adult. 
Mm. It's mum. Ruben, don't hurt the tree. <laughs> so Gemma's just done some research and found out her name, haven't you, Jeff? Madidi. Madidi. She's very cute. And playful. <laughs> and we just spotted someone. Let's bless the anteater. The smelliest poor in the zoo. She's just been taped that well because it's cleaned up a bit. Yeah. Time that well. Look at those claws. Did you see a tongue then? I didn't. A tongue came right out then? I was looking at the camera so I probably caught it on the caught it on the camera, yeah. Ah, I bet you dinner. Pig me mum, is that? No, it's not the babies on it though. No. There is another one at the back. Yeah. Head to the painted docks. Yeah, they're over there in the window. Still got young. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gone. Squish. <laughs> so who's this gem? Katani and Hazina. Katani just came running down the hill and Hazina was proper of trotting after her behind with a tail up. It was so cute. So this is Ike and Zuri. Black rhino, small and feisty. Feistiest things come in small packages. <laughs> it's like when you say it's small about a rhino, it's well, not small. A small compar rhino. Compared to a white rhino, she's small. And Ike is a handful. And Ike is a handful, he's very cute. I like that ridge he's got along his back, that's quite distinctive, isn't mm. it?
one last quick look in the shop before we do actually leave and they've got new hoodies and t-shirts quite like those and they also have a miniature replica of the Boris statue which we actually think looks better than the full-size one it's really really heavy it it's really heavy because it's bronze yeah. <laughs> no no but it really is bronze is what I mean yeah it's not that's nice it's really nice isn't it you can actually buy this. Wow. That is £1,750. And if you can get 10% off as a member. I've got money not off because it's ripped. I'm assuming if you buy it, you get a new one. Oh, there are smaller ones too for people who don't have quite mm -hmm. enough room for that. You have odd taste in cuddly toys. That is nice. You can also buy these huge sculptures as well. £199 for an elephant. A baby elephant, so I'm assuming that's that one. That's not a baby elephant. Though. But that one is 645 quid. So, another visit to the zoo is complete. Yeah. Quick one today. It's a little bit cold. Oh, we did walk quite far, didn't we? Yeah. So I'm sure we'll be back soon. So we'll see you soon. Best thing today, by the way? Oh, baby Ike. Baby Ike, the rhino. Baby yeah, Ike. absolutely. The last and best thing today. <laughs> Bye.